Hi everyone, it's just past the middle of April so I'm going to sow some of the more frost tender crops. Um, so I'll start off with sweet corn, which is Swift F1 is a variety I'm growing this year. So I've got some 7cm pots, filled with multi-purpose compost, a bit of perlite in there because I have no vermiculite left. Um, I've been through, I just dipped little holes with a sharpie pen so I can't find my small dibber. About 15mm, 20mm deep, half inch, you know, whatever you know. Um, you can use your finger, you don't have to do anything really special with it. So, I pulled the sweet corn out because I wanted to just count make sure there was 40. I think there is. I've got 30 pots here, I've got some more pricked out, you know, with holes in ready. So, it's, it's fairly straightforward. I mean, there, there are different ways. I think uh, there used to be a guy, um, I can't remember his name, it was Chris, he used to just, just sit him on the top and just press him into the surface. You know, it's whatever works for whoever like, really. So, so I've just did these all, so I'm just going to go through. Drop them. I'm not gonna not bothered if they go right down yet, I can sort that out in a minute. Go through and just pop one in each hole. I've only got room to grow 30, so I've got an allowance of 10 to fail. You know, uh, sometimes they can be okay. You know, other times, you know, um just depends on the water and you don't like it too wet, because they can rot off. I don't like it too cold either, so I'm going to put these on the windowsill. You know, uh, on the colder days, obviously like today, it's, it's a bit miserable and it's raining. So I hope you can hear me okay. And uh, as soon as they start coming up, you know, and the majority have germinated, then I will uh, pop them outside and just keep an eye on the weather report for frost and things. So I'm just going to. Uh, Push these down with my finger now, just nest them down, make sure they're all down the bottom. You know, because you don't want to bury them too deep. You know, this compost isn't, I've not watered it, but it isn't dry. You know, the seeds have been out here for a while, compost has, so everything's similar temperature. So there's nothing to shock anything as such. You can pre-soak your sweet corn if you want to let it swell, but I won't do it overnight. Um, it's a, it can be a bit, a little bit too long. So just a few hours is usually good enough. So that's all popped in there. So we're just gonna go through now. Just cover them over. last year I had a really good germination rate, I had 100% germination last year but I've got my seeds from a different supplier this year um, it's just easy to get everything from one, one place online rather than go different shops and things so they're all covered up I'm going to give them a little bit of water, but what I tend to prefer doing is um, soaking from the bottom. You know, when they start growing, they're just going to be watered from the base. So I'm just going to give them a quick wetting down. Uh, another very quick going over. That's 30 of them done. I'll get me labels which I've pre wrote. That's swift. The 15 there and 15 there. So I'll just get these trays out of the way. Just saw this tray. I think there's a turn left. So I'm not pressing him into the compost. I'm just making sure they're at the bottom of the hole. Actually, 
give them a label pointed that way. I tend to do that because then I know these two rolls are swift. Right, so that's the sweet corn done. So it doesn't like cold weather, so I, I prefer, personally I prefer not to plant it out until June. Um, same with me, uh, my, my cucumbers, you know, they'll they'll come into the, the polytunnel and um, be hardened off throughout May. You know, the, I'll just keep an eye on the weather. So uh, we'll do cucumbers, which is Fem Spot F1. It's a variety I've grown for probably the past four or five years. I used to grow Telegraph Improved, but um, just picking the male flowers off because they're not an F1, they're not an all female. Um, I found Fem Spot has been okay to be honest. Now, um, cucumber seeds, they're, they're quite flat, so you plant them on their edge. Say if you had a coin and you were planting on its edge, you do the same with these, not too deep because when, when they come up, um, they've got like a, a fatter end, the root tends to come out of that end. And then the, the, the more tapered bit, I don't know whether you can see that, this end here opens up and the leaves burst out of that. So I'm just going to plant it on its edge. You know, because uh, you can go back along and just nestle them in a bit more if you need to. But like I say, not, not too deep. Probably. 10 mil at the most. Now, because these are an F1, F1 seeds, um, you tend to not get quite as many. I mean, it says five seeds on the pack, but I've actually got six, so I'll probably sow this other one in another pot somewhere, or I'll, uh, or I'll just save it and just see if I get 100% germination. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's the fem spot. Put a label in that before I forget. And just cover the see with some compost. Give them a drink. Same again with the uh, cucumbers. Once they're up, they'll be bottom watered because um, they are quite prone to rotting off at the necks. So I tend to use things like capillary matting and sit them on that just to keep it. As long as the capillary matting is damp, the, the compost will be damp. So that's uh, them done. Next up, six more pots. We are going to do courgettes. I'm not a big fan of courgettes, but last year I managed to eat quite a few because I used a lot of my tomatoes. So um, these are last year's seeds. Uh, I've got five left. So I'll ditch one of these pots out. I'll just put uh, an empty one in its space just so the pots don't topple over by accident. So the variety is called Easy Pick Green. I used to grow Defender and Zucchini and um, all green bush you used to get some right massive ones you know if you because they do if you don't spot them you can go back a week after and they'll they'll be enormous but i found with these easy pick they tend to um not get as big so i'll say them again they're an f1 so it's same as a, a cucumber on its edge probably these just a little bit deeper as long as the, the top of the seed is probably about 10 mil below the surface Just be careful when it, on some compost they use, um, if they're quite heavy or you're using a really fine compost, it can quite blanket the seed a lot and it can make it a little bit hard for it to come through. So you just go over them, 
Cover all them up. Make sure uh, you can't see any. You can always put a little layer of a Mickey light over them. That's it, I've not got any. So we shall water them. And put a label in them. So everything's going to have lids put on them. Uh, it's all going to go indoors until they germinate and then on the on the days when it's bright and sunny they'll come out and then um, if it's a cool night they'll go back in but if it's a warm night they'll stay out so that's uh, the sweet corn cucumbers and courgettes for the 2017 all done right thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time bye bye